What is up guys? It's your boy Cody Montgomery coming at you guys from my kitchen here in the quarantine life. It is Sunday. I'm off from training. Just basically hanging out today and it's going to be Sunday night cheat night tonight. Right now I'm doing like one to two, uh, well basically two cheat meals a week. One clean one and one dirty one. I wouldn't consider this a clean one, but for any of you guys out there that have families or you guys are all quarantined up, this is, you know, Fun thing to do, take a, you know, take a Saturday or Sunday, well, basically every day, Saturday or Sunday right now, but you know, take the afternoon and enjoy a little grill time. So I'm gonna fire up the Traeger and I'm gonna go ahead and show what we've got. We've got a couple sets of baby back ribs that I'm gonna cook. We've got all the ingredients that we're gonna be using. It's gonna be pretty simple, pretty easy. Basically two ingredients to start. We're gonna throw it on the Traeger for two hours and then we are going to go ahead and wrap it throw some butter on it, go ahead and cook it for another two hours. And then at that point, we are gonna put some, some barbecue sauce on, um, which I'll show you guys later on, and then cook it for one more hour. So it's gonna be like a total of cook time of five hours. We got two sets of baby back ribs here. Uh, probably, what is this? Like just uh, around seven pounds, six to seven pounds of total ribs. Obviously there's bones and all that stuff. Um, but I figured I'd show you guys a little bit of cooking other than just the normal chicken and rice, you know, you guys gotta have balance. You know, I'm all about that. Um, you know, some of the advantages, in my opinion, to having clean sheet meals, you kind of get out of your norm, kind of enjoy something that maybe isn't as bad as going out and having a pizza, but you know, still within your within your realm. Of course, we're getting, you know, lots of protein. Any of you guys that have followed me for a long time know I love to cook, know I love to barbecue. So, you know, I'm all about balance. You gotta do both. So let's go ahead and get into it show you guys how we are going to set these ribs up before we throw them on the grill. All right guys, so what we're going to do first and foremost is open these guys up. Anybody that's out there that has cooked ribs knows, and actually some people might not know, um, if you don't cook a lot of ribs or you haven't really, some people just don't know. I didn't know for the first few times I cooked ribs, but there's actually a little membrane on the back of this. Let me get another uh, cutting board. Okay, there we go. So now I got two cutting boards. So we got that guy out of there. And maybe we'll go ahead and start getting this guy. Um, but as I was saying, I didn't even know at the beginning, uh, the first few times I cooked ribs, but there's a little membrane that you gotta remove on the bottom side, which is a game changer for sure. So if you guys are out there watching this video and you haven't ever cooked ribs and you're like, man, I'm sitting at home and Cody's right. I want a cheat meal and I want to go out, risk getting what's going on around. I'm gonna cook some ribs for me and my family. This is this is the secret right here. You wanna you wanna try to get this membrane off. It's just a little little layer, and there probably is better videos out there to get it off than me. Obviously, be very careful to not hurt yourself. But all, all I try to do is just slide this thing under and uh, get it off. It's a little bit of a task, but. There we go. So as you can see now, I'm starting to pull that membrane off. So that's all we're trying to do there. There you go, go, go. Obviously now the hard part's over, we got it all, uh, the membrane off. So all we're gonna do here is I'm gonna put a little bit of this in my hand and I'm just gonna try to basically coat. We've got canola oil here and this is just gonna basically help our pork and poultry rub sit on the ribs. You wanna have some kind of a base layer, kind of like what we did with the, uh, the panko chicken. Um, this is obviously a little bit more off of the diet plan. Actually, we'll soak up both of these. So all we're gonna do is probably about one to two tablespoons um, per set of ribs. I don't wanna go crazy with it, but I do just want enough on there. I know you can probably go crazy. You could probably 
do butter at this stage, all kinds of stuff. I'm going to do butter later on uh, in the stage. This is obviously a cheat meal, don't get me wrong, so I want to make it taste as good as possible. Macros are not that important, but obviously I want to try to get my protein in. I'll show you guys the, the final macros of the meal that I'm going to eat with this um, tonight, but coat everything up. Now we are going to apply, this is a uh, apple and honey uh, pork and poultry uh, rub that Traeger makes. I've used this a couple times. I make ribs uh, somewhat often. I really enjoy uh, a little bit of the apple um, with it. Let's see if we can get some of this to come out. So this has a little bit of uh, sugars in it and stuff. So I know you can add maple sugar uh, or brown sugar, I mean, all kinds of different stuff. Um, but we're gonna put a good layer on this. I'll probably go back over it. Like I said, I'm not super worried about making this as healthy as possible. I wanna make it somewhat healthy. This is why I'm doing some ribs and not doing something crazy like a pizza or an entire pie or cake. <laughs> but at least we're getting our protein in, getting some good fats, coat all this up. And now we are going to massage it. You gotta give it some love, boys and girls. You can do other stuff on it. Obviously you can pick the rub or seasoning of your choice. I've done all kinds of different stuff, but this is the one I go back to. This has a really, really good flavor. Coat it all up. And now we're gonna do the same thing to the reverse side. I know that you don't technically eat this as much, um, but I still think it soaks in the meat a little bit. So I wouldn't recommend doing um, nearly as much, but we're still going to coat it up. All right, so now we're going to rub this side in. We're going to let this sit for about 20 to 30 minutes, go fire up the Traeger, and I will show you guys once the Traeger's all fired up. All right guys, so we've got the Traeger here fired up to 250 degrees. And we're gonna throw these guys on here. So we've got two racks of ribs. Uh, Brax is ready to go on his car over there. So we're gonna throw these on, like I said, 250 degrees. And we're gonna go two hours. It's gonna stay at 250 throughout, but at two hours, uh, and we're gonna come back and we'll put foil on it. So we'll, we'll give you guys an update uh, here in two hours. Two hours later. And we're gonna go ahead and wrap it, like I said. So this is gonna be just about halfway through. We've got my two things of foil down here. We're gonna wrap one in each. And then we've got some mostly melted butter that we're gonna be putting onto it. later so now the ribs have been on for four hours and we are gonna take them out of the foil now i've got my barbecue sauce in hand here and we are going to lather them up and then we're going to set them on there for another hour and that will be the final step I'm gonna get lots of comments on how I can make these better. And to be honest, leave all of them, guys, to the one letter.
actually my first time using the foil. Cut the ribs on the trigger probably six, seven, eight times maybe in the last uh, six months since I got it. Cooking on the trigger makes it a lot easier than normal, I will say. So we want a good coat on it. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to let it on here for an hour, but I'm going to come out here 30 minutes in and we'll put some more sauce on it. Just make sure they're staying moist. But as you see, they're starting to kind of fall off the off the bone, which is the, the goal, right? So as the ribs are getting finished up, I'm going to do some Brussels in the oven. I'm setting it to 425 and we are going to do some skillet potatoes. Pretty easy uh, thing to get at the store, little simply potatoes. So That's what's going to be served with our ribs that you guys are about to see. Alright guys, so this is it. I've been sitting on here, I put a little sauce on halfway through that. So this is going to be a five hour total cook time, two hours. Um, on the grill two hours in the foil that you guys saw and then sauced it up in one hour uh, just on the grill by itself. We're going to take these on inside. Alright guys, so we got our potatoes all done. I did a little bit of garlic butter potatoes. <laughs> Got our uh, Brussels sprouts done, and then this is our ribs, of course. So we're gonna take one of these and slice it up. We'll probably do like right there. Very moist, as you guys can see. I'm gonna try a little bit. Oh yeah. My first time using the butter with like an, uh, two hours, three hours left. When I put the, put it in the foil, you can definitely uh, tell that there's butter in it. it tastes like it tastes really really good. This is gonna be my cheat meal. I'll put all the macros uh, together for the plate that I uh, get together. I'm probably gonna do like half a rack of these uh, will be my meal. But hope all you guys out there are staying positive and hope you guys are enjoying these videos. You know I love to cook, so if you guys enjoy watching me cook, I'll make some more of these. But this is just a Sunday night at the uh, Montgomery household. All right, guys, so there we have it. Sunday night, clean, cheap meal. Um, really not a cheap meal at all. Pretty healthy. You got our potatoes, Brussels sprouts, and basically like half a rack of ribs. Um, so I'm going to enjoy this. I'll put the macros um, right here for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like I said, if you guys uh, enjoy me cooking, I'll make some more videos going in the future. Mm -hmm.